Hey everyone, we're back for day two of 31 Faces of Halloween, and so to start this video, I got a special pumpkin headband, and I love it, very Halloween-y, and we, I did my hair in space buns, but let's get started. So first we're going to start with these two colors, a golden yellow and a bright neon yellow. First I would recommend starting with the golden yellow. The idea, as you saw by the title, is a candy corn clown. So our eyes are part of the candy corn look, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail. We were, are going to start with making our entire eyelid as yellow as we can. After the golden yellow, use some light yellow to brighten it up, make it m look more like the candy corn as much as you can. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to use that same golden yellow and put it under our eye. Be very careful because your eyes are sensitive and having it under your eye like this could potentially hurt if you are have not done makeup before or are not used to it. Next we're going to use a very little bit of red to mix with the golden yellow to make a golden orange color. This is going to take a lot of blending and practice so if you do too much red you want to add more golden and vice versa and just put it on as you see and then I blended it with my finger to make sure that it was even and how I wanted it to look. Alright, now let's just copy it to the other eye. I skipped ahead for your convenience but exact same thing. Yay! What's next? We're going to make some triangles. So ideally you can, you don't have to, use tape like I am here. I cut it in half to try and get as straight of lines as possible and make sure that the triangle on my eye will be even. Also, the tape didn't stick very well, so if you have any better ideas, I'd love to hear them down in the comments below. Or you can just try to freehand it, excuse the stutter, freehand it. Once again, just a reminder, if I look like I am going at supernatural speeds, just like The Flash, it is because I sped it up for your convenience. In actuality, this 18 minute video actually took me roughly an hour two hours to do so if you do this for your own Halloween look be prepared it does take time like all these looks so now the triangle bit that we want the color of the what the tape was for is black as you saw so using black eyeshadow we are going to lightly with my angled brush make the triangle on our eyelid on the outside of the tape or inside if that's what you chose. I chose outside. Once it was pretty dang close, I took off the tape, put it to the side for the other eye, and matched it up the best I could. Again, not perfect, but the first time I filmed this, it was pretty dang bad. So this is the second shot. Woo! Now, copy to the other side. Ta-da! Next, using a face crayon, you may want to darken it up a little bit. Just so you can't remove it when you add the other colors that you need. We will also be adding circles to the top, so I did a light drawing of them on both eyes to make sure I had them marked. So, next in the candy corn color sequence is orange. This will be going on your eyebrow. You can choose to split it apart around it or just paint it on. I use the Spirit Halloween Orange Face Cream rather than a grease because I couldn't find an orange grease and this is the stuff I got last year. 
Um, it is water-based, so using water will either spread or wash it away pretty easily. But if you go to do multiple layers, I definitely recommend waiting for it to dry and then adding the layers. Because when I tried to add them wet, it would just pick up the other, the other bits of orange that I had already put on. And I don't care if I have makeup in my eyebrows, so get ready to watch me just get it all up in my eye. I also cleaned it up with my paintbrush, but as you can tell, I use the back of the paintbrush because it's a lot smoother to put on the colors. So once again, we are going to just copy to the other side. For a long time, I didn't understand why most makeup videos only show you once them doing one side of their face. Why not do one side and then the other side and then one side and the other side? I finally understand now that I have done this for a year last year on YouTube and this year I'm doing it on YouTube as well. But two years ago you can go through deep dive into my Instagram and it will be there. I did it started three years ago on 31 Faces of Halloween but last year on YouTube and this year on YouTube. So super exciting and I'm glad you guys are here. All right, our orange is done. Now we want it to dry so we don't get colors mixed, but we're going to use Spirit White Cream Makeup now for the top of the candy corn. What a big surprise. I also wanted to just say I apologize for the excessive rambling. Sometimes it just happens that way. This is the point when I realized that drawing a triangle in white makeup without thinking about it kind of leaves lines if you're not careful. So I definitely recommend putting a line on the bottom and making them all the same side instead of painting out shapes. The second one, as you see, I went up and then down and just kind of went pulled it all down contrast to the other one where you will see me make lines and adjust. But hey, now I've got some candy corn on my eyes. Super exciting. So now we're going to just do some touch-ups on the eyelid in the yellows that we had already chosen. Awesome. Now that that's done, let's take our pencil, draw out the triangle line. Although, now that I've realized that my white paint is not dry enough for it, I would suggest to wait until it dries. I realized it was a bad idea, so let's do our mouth instead. Hey! What is with my overalls? Stop it. So we are going to use that same face crayon and make a pumpkin mouth. So you want to outline your lips with the black. Now not perfectly in line with your entire mouth though because you will draw out the pumpkin teeth that are normally carved into, well, jack-o'-lanterns. As you see here, I do a quick rough sketch and kind of line it up, and the darkest part is on my lips so that I can see what I am drawing. Thank you. 
don't worry, this face crayon can actually be used as eyeliner as well, but make sure that you are aware of what size you are using to draw it out. You can also use some black eyeshadow if you so chose. Next, as you see, I outline the rest of my lips just because that's going to be a different color on the inside of them compared to the outside. This was more or less just to give me boundaries for filling in the smile. Here we go. Ta-da! So I did use the pencil for most of it and then used eyeshadow for the rest. And then I decided to fill it up extra with some more black eyeshadow and make sure it is dark and exactly how I want it to look. Just cleanliness is overall better for any makeup look. Awesome. Now that we have cleaned it up, we will be doing that same orange paint for our lips and for these little cute little circles on either side of our cheeks. What's a clown without little jingly bits? Or circles, I guess, on their face? Most clowns I've seen have weird makeup and circles on their face anyway. Looks like now it's just kind of time to dry. I touched the white, it's still sticky, so wait a minute, now it's dry. And I did a weird jump cut, sorry guys. But as you see, I did fill up my lips finally. I guess I just forgot to show you. Next, I took some eyeshadow now that it's dry and really did the corners. I ended up deciding to do eyeshadow because it did seem to come out darker than the pencil as well you can still see I only have one circle above my eye on one side but that should be coming up real soon also before you guys tell me based on what the audio sounds like I did film this before I did the audio so I did forget a little bit now you see me film filling in the circle with the black eyeliner pencil now that the white is dry. Yay! But I do want to double check and make sure that I'm not spreading any kind of makeup and I am going to try and keep it as even as possible. Next, we are going to do a white outline around the orange circles. I don't think they were quite dry yet, but I guessed and I tried my best. Just make it as clean as you want. This is a relatively easy look that you can do as long as you have face paint. I would say you can use eyeshadow, but it doesn't always show up as dark as you want it. So this cream that I got is pretty cheap as well. What I forgot to say was that you can add orange gems if you so found some. I do have sticky gems, just unfortunately none of mine are orange, but I didn't think it would add too much to this look that it didn't already have. 
Next, we wipe off the paintbrush and do some final touches, as you saw slash are seeing. I am feeling pretty good about this look. Next is just some more tidying. So yellow on the eyes, golden underneath the eyes with some red to make it orange. Just a lot of final upkeep. Next, I decided to take a little bit of white crayon that is unfortunately pretty dang flat and try and make some almost like teardrops or lines underneath my eyes, which is also common in a clown look. Once again, I recommend you be very careful with your under eye. It's a lot more sensitive than your eye than your top eyelid. Your bottom eyelid can be susceptible to more issues if you are too rough on it or it is in my case next I took some golden yellow to make it a little more orange on my lip I also did take a little bit of water to try and blend out the color a little bit before and it did some weird stuff so once again I remind you water-based paint water doesn't always work well to spread or mix now, lastly, we just do our nose. So draw it on a little triangle and fill it in. Yay, now we're all done. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow and enjoy 31 Faces of Halloween. You can also use a setting spray to keep it on. So the video on the right is the vlog for yesterday, and the video on the left is, well, day one of 31 Faces of Halloween. Every day in October, I will be posting a video, if at all possible, because I did 31 Faces. And if you don't want to watch the video and just want to see the final product, Go check out my Instagram. Bye.